For Sarah Squires, the program with Abled Kitchen has been life-changing. She's learned a range of hospitality skills from knife safety right through to making sourdough and baking pizzas. I love working in groups with lovely people and staff that are supporting me. She's been involved since the program began 12 months ago and says it significantly helped her confidence and social skills. In the future, I would love to have an opportunity to work in this kind of the environment. Daniel Simons also loves working in a busy kitchen. He hopes one day to open his own cafe. My dream when I was younger was to have a little cafe, but because I've got a bit of a disability and autistic, it's, I suffer like, from certain things, so I need a bit of guidance. I hope to maybe get a job out of this and in a bakery or a cafe. The program has been funded by the Tasmanian Community Fund and sits outside the NDIS. It's a collaboration between Ferment Tasmania, St Giles Disability Services and local bakery Sandy's Sourdough, which donates the ingredients and kitchen space. From here, with the new skills these participants have gained, it's hoped they will be able to fill casual vacancies in hospitality venues. Following the success of the pilot, St Giles is now working on sourcing a new building for a more permanent home for Abled Kitchen. It's going fantastically. Uh, when, we, when we had the, uh, the idea uh, 18 months ago, um, we couldn't have dreamed how successful it would be. And I think that comes down to uh, the idea that food brings people together. Creating a brighter future for these budding chefs. Jessica Moran, ABC News.